What's up guys? It's Wednesday. It's time for the Tommy Soy Box Wednesday walkthrough. I got all the hoods open. I got the trucks all running. Save us some time. You guys uh, can see what we got going on here. Check it out. So first up we got this 1974 W200 power wagon. It's a club cab, original paint, one owner truck, 360 automatic. It's got the uh, adventure package. I'm planning on recovering the seat um, and I'm planning on redoing the whole truck but just a matter of time when I get to it. Uh, 95,000 original miles. The truck's super smooth, runs and drives good, shifts good. Uh, all lights and gauges work. Got a little bit of rust starting on this wheel lip. A little bit of rust on the bottom of the fender. Floors and underneath are all really solid. Motor's smooth, runs good. A little bit of rust, well, I should say it's got some rust on this fender, that's probably the worst. And then it's got some rust on this wheel lip here. Everything else is super solid. Cab mounts, cab corners, floors, rock, inner rockers, outer rockers, roof, trip rail. It's all what you want to see. Um, yeah, it's going to be a really nice truck when it's done. You guys that are interested in it now, I'd take 14 for it. Then we got another 1974 W200 power wagon. This is also an original paint club cap. This is a 360 four speed truck. Really solid truck. Only rust on the entire truck. It's just starting on this wheel lip right here. Floors, cap corners, body mounts. All super clean, super solid. Grip rail, roof, really nice. Uh, seat needs recovered. I got the door panel for it. I got the dash cluster surround. Um, I got all, everything. Everything put it back together. Just needs gone through and put together. Super clean, solid truck. Uh, somebody put a four barrel intake on it. I think it needs, I think it's got a vacuum leak. It's got an exhaust leak. Needs header gaskets. Just needs gone through. Uh, I would do 10,000 on that one. Then we got the Cowboy Cadillac, 1979 D300, dually, club cab. It's a, another 364 speed, factory AC truck, came out of Arizona. What paint is left is the original paint. But dude, this thing would be so sick. Clear coat, put some nice Alcoas on it. Paint this flare, patina it. Dude, this thing would be so sweet. I got replacement door panels for it, dash, glove box, seat's nice, I'd leave it. Um, got the dual cowboy hat hangers, you know, real cowboy shit, yeehaw! Yeah, this thing's going to be sweet. Uh, it runs and drives too. It's been off the road for two years, so I would go through it as well. I mean, I'm planning on it. Price as is, I'd go 10 grand on the cowboy Cadillac. That thing's got so much potential. You can't fake that patina. Damn, that thing's gonna be so cool. Then we got the Swamp Thing, 1971 Dodge W100 Power Wagon Adventure Package. This is a super rare truck. Not a lot of uh, short bed, four wheel drive, swept line power wagons. This is the first one I've ever seen in person. Only one I've ever owned. Uh, 318 automatic, all lights and gauges work on it. Steps are really solid. Floors aren't terrible. A little spot around the body mount where they all rust, but everything else is there, man. And it's got all the, the tr almost all the trim. The only trim that's missing is the lower trim down here. Lockers are nice. Undersides real solid. It's a nice truck, man. You don't see a lot of short beds. Definitely not. Definitely not with the adventure package. Um, yeah, this rocker has a rust hole in it probably patch that but the floors and everything else solid step solid floor pretty solid man a little bit of amateur shit right there but turn signal indicators all work gauges work uh correction gas gauge does not work but all the lights and everything else work on it seems to run pretty good sounds good 
318 automatic. Dude, that thing's gonna be so sweet. Uh, boy, I don't want to give that one up. Uh, I do, uh, I do 14 on it. All right, let's go inside. All right, we'll start with the Doom Buggy. 1971 Volkswagen Doom Buggy. It's original paint. I bought it off the guy that finished the car in 81. Yeah, baby. Uh, really nice interior, runs and drives really nice. Lights, turn signals, speedometer, they all work. Uh, 1300 cc's. Super cool, dude. Super cool. Even them guys think they're cool. <laughs> 15,000 on the Doom Buggy. Then we got the 1967 Plymouth Barracuda. This is an original paint, one owner, Formula S, 383 big block, four speed survivor. Look at those wheel wells. Oh yeah, I bought this car off of the original owner. Um, full documentation, build sheets, copy of the original title, owner's manual, certi card, sales documents, service receipts, whole nine, man. Yeah, she is sweet. 80, 88,000 original miles. Bench seat with the four speed, he custom ordered that. It's even on the fender tag. He, uh, he custom ordered the bench seat because he wanted his wife to sit next to him. Chivalry, gotta love it. 65,000 on the Barracuda. Big blue ox, she sold. We got the newest arrival here, the 1973. W100, single cab, long bed. Dude, how badass is that truck? God, that thing is so sweet. Uh, it's a 360 automatic. Somebody put a four barrel on it. Runs and drives great. Lights, gauges, all work, everything. Super solid, rust free, man. Drip rails are clean. Underside, super clean. Yeah, original paint. Interior's really nice. I think it might be. It looks original. It's hard to tell. It sure looks like it. Dash is nice. Uh, all lights and gauges work. Yeah, she's super cool. Uh, 21.9 on, on this baby. She's got some patina on the fender. Got some patina on the hood. I was thinking about repainting it. I don't know. If somebody, if somebody wants it repainted, we could work out a deal. I could send it out and get it painted, but... You guys know me, I like patina, that thing's cool. 21.9. Then we got the 1977 W100. It's a club cab, long bed, four wheel drive, adventure package, factory big block truck, 400, AC, power steering, power brakes, cruise control. Dude, this thing was the Mac Daddy back in the day. Super clean, rust free truck. Yeah, dude, this thing is sweet. Nice interior. I got the cover panel for this down here. Um, yeah, all lights and gauges work. Factory AM radio's in there, but can't really listen to shit on AM anymore. Uh, it's got the jump seats in the back. This window tint's dark, can't see shit. They're nice. Yeah, uh, 26.9 on that baby. And we got the 1969 W200 Power Wagon. This is another original paint truck. It's a factory 383 four-speed truck. Super, look at those inner fenders, man. Dude, still got some factory markings under the hood. Look at that. You guys know these swept lines always rot out here. Dude, super cool truck. More factory markings. Mm, gotta love it. Just got a little bit of rust in the cow here. Definitely needs rockers. They all do. Steps pretty nice. Interior's clean. Uh, lights and gauges, they all work. Turn signals, high beams, uh, you know, whole deal. It's a nice truck, man. Runs and drives great. It's a nice old farm truck. When I bought it, I found, I still, I found, that's the original tag. I found it under the seat. How cool is that? Yeah, she's cool. Same thing with the rocker on this side. The mud. The mud gets packed up in there and then it just sits and then it rots them out. Look, you can still see some. See that? Yeah. Um, yeah, 17,000 on this one. 
Uh, the Ram Charger sold. That was a nice truck. All original, original paint, 364 barrel. Yeah, she sold. Then we got the Tangerine Tank, baby. Got her all cleaned up. Got them new white shoes on her. It's a 364 speed truck. Uh, since I already started on it, I want to finish it. I'm going to recover the seat. I got to change the front floor pans. Uh, but she runs and drives great. It's a super, super cool truck. Adventure Sport Package. A little bit of rust starting here. I'm not going to mess with it because it ain't worth it being so original. I have the trim panel for the tailgate. Uh, oh, she's got the toolbox, bedside toolbox. Yeah, like I said, I got to put floor pans in it. It sucks when I'm. The, all it takes is one somebody leaving the windows down or the windshield leaking, and it soaks up on the back of the carpet, and then it just rots it out. The rest of the truck is unbelievably clean. Crazy, crazy. Um, yeah, I'll probably be. I'm thinking probably around 21.9 on it when I'm done. So, so yeah. And then I got uh, I got that little short bed. It's a little green and white short bed that's coming from California. And then I bought another one last night. I'm not even gonna tell you guys what it is because it's super cool, and you guys are all gonna lose your mind, and everybody's gonna want it. So we'll wait for that one to get here before we unveil that surprise. So hope everybody's having a good day. If you got any questions or anything like that, feel free to give me a call, 330-729-5732. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Take it easy.